Hi, I'm Mike Parkhill, Head of Engineering at Doc, and I want to show you how to verify a verifiable credential. So we've recently added the ability to create a verification template, uh, which you can then use to define as a verifier what things you need from uh, holders or prove that they've got the credential you're looking for and the de details you need. So everything I'm going to show here, I'm going to show it through certs because it's easier to show, but we can all this is supported through our APIs as well. So if you're using our APIs, uh, you can do all this sort of thing. And just as a little tip, for anyone who is looking, watching this who wants to learn about the APIs, if you go into developer tools in your browser, you can see the, the API calls we're making behind the scenes in search, because search uses the same API as you would. So anyway, getting back to verifications. I'll start with a verification request. So when you go into search or through the API, you can set up a verification request. So this is very simple. Uh, we've got a very simple form here, uh, just on the verification side here. And you come in here, and this is sort of defining what is a verifier you need. So what information is important to you, what credentials are important to you. So there's a couple of things that are sort of helpful descriptive data, like the title and the purpose. They're more about helping you explain to the holder what you're asking for. So in the scenario I'm going to show you today, I'm going to pretend that I'm an employer looking to hire someone and uh, have them prove to me that they have a university degree. I'll give this a simple title. I'll call it a university degree. So we're just going to require that someone has a university degree. All right, we'll give a description about that. University credential. All right, so those are, again, they're free text. It's really more about helping you understand uh, what you have and what you're asking for. So then you can get into what data you want to see back. So you can ask for certain fields that you want returned as part of the, the credential. Um, if you're dealing with anonymous credentials, that's some of our BBS Plus credentials, and select disclosure, then this would be the sort of the credentials or the, the attributes of the credential that you want the holder to, to reveal to you. So, you know, we'll say we want degree name. Um, we probably want to know the subject's name, that kind of thing. So we'll, we'll take those to start with. And for a type, we'll just say we want a university degree. And if you want to, you get more specific. You can start saying, I want particular degrees, whatever. We'll just keep it simple for, for the demo purposes here. And so I create that. And now you can see that we have a list of created templates. Obviously, you have more, you'd have more. And then if you wanted to share this with somebody, you share this QR code. So you hit the request button and you share the QR code. So on my phone, I'm going to scan that QR code. So now with my phone, my phone is playing the role of the holder. That's scanned. And you can see it's brought up now a list of credentials on my phone that match or might match what you've got. So I'm going to say I want to use the Bachelor of Education. So I select that one. And you can see it says can share specific data on this credential. So that means that it supports anonymous credentials and selective disclosures. Now, because of that, I can choose which data I want to share. So on this degree, it's got a lot of information. It's got my email. It has my date of birth. I may not want to share that with the verifier. It's private information. They aren't asking for it. They wanted to know my name. They want to know what the degree name was. And I, maybe I'll share with them the ID as well, just so they can see that. So I selected those fields. I hit continue. And now, as a holder, you have to sign it using your identifier. So we've got dids on the, the phone. And so we'll use that to sign. That this helps prove that it is, this presentation, this credential I'm presenting is from me. I'll hit continue. And now it's sending the data that is chose there back to verify. And as you can see, I got verification successful. Now back on certs, if I want to verify what we just received back, I can look at the history tab. And you can see this record is in here with verified the status. If I look at the details by clicking on it, I can see what details I got. So this is the details of the credential that was just given to me. Most of this stuff is just sort of boilerplate things you can skip. If you want the actual details, though, it's down here in the subject. So these are the details about me that I shared. So I shared their credential ID, my name, and my degree name. But that's it. So you can see the, the birth date's not here. My email address isn't there. So I only revealed to the verifier what I wanted to reveal. So that's really the power of selective disclosure. Um, and that's really it for verification. So really, from doing this through certs, it's pretty straightforward. You can see on the phone, it's very straightforward. And that is how you can do a verification with certs and with the API, uh, just using QR codes and a quick scan and a request template. But that's not all we can do. 
So the next thing I want to show you about verification is a really cool feature we have where you can actually do verification between two phones. So in this case, you can have one phone act as your verifier and the other phone act as a holder. So in this way, if you're not at a computer or whatever, you can still do verifications between two people, right? but you can do it just with phones. So you know, think of access to an event of some sort. You could have someone at the door with their phone and they could scan, uh, or people can scan their phones, present their credentials to get access to that kind of thing. So it's a, a very powerful tool for when you're out in the field and then not just sitting at a desk or something like that to get verification working. So for this, I'm gonna bring in my colleague, Francisco, and he is gonna show the, the holder side of this flow, which looks very similar to what I just showed have shown you from the, the search site. And I'm gonna have my phone act as a, a verifier. So in order to do that on my phone, I have to import that request template. So we can't define request templates on the phone, you have to import them from search. To make your phone a verifier, you need to go into our verifier tool on the phone, which is hidden under settings, which may not be the best one, but that's where it is at the moment. And you click on the credential verifier. And here I can import the request template that we already defined in search. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that by clicking White import, import by via QR code, and then I'll scan from certs that same template that we created before. And now you can see on my phone, I've got this university degree template that we just created. And I can share that. So I'll share that with Francisco now. So I'll put that up on the, my phone screen. And then he can scan that. And then he will go through the holder view of that, which, like I said, will look very similar to what I showed you a minute ago. Hey, Francisco. Hey, Mike. Uh, Thank you for joining me. Now to do this verification, I need to, you to prove to me that you've got a university degree. So I am going to show you a QR code. Uh, hopefully this works over webcams and uh, let's see what we can do. You can scan that with your phone. Okay. Now I have a presentation request, name university degree. I need to prove that I have a university degree accept select the credentials to be presented i'm gonna pick my bachelor's of education and now i can select what data i want to share and i want to share just my name and my degree name and my degree type 2. continue i'm going to select my deed continue Waiting for verification. And on my side, I just received his Francisco's credential over on my side, and I got a notification that it is valid. And I can see those details he shared. So I can see his name, I can see his university degree, and I can see uh, the date it was issued, which is today, April 6th. I see his name. And I can see that. Yeah, I also got. I was going to say, oh, now I also see the date that signed it. Oh, but, uh, yeah, go ahead. Awesome, Mike. Uh, when, when can I start the job? Uh, you already have. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the team. Thanks. All right, and that's it. So for verifications, uh, we've just seen two ways to do a uh, verification using Docs tools. You can do it uh, using certs as a verifier, and you can also do it using a uh, phone as a verifier and uh, using request templates that you can define either through certs or through the API. And, uh, and that's it. But I think it's a very powerful tool, and I think it's pretty easy to use, and hopefully you all you'll find it that way too. Thanks.